Common respiratory illnesses sending young kids to the hospital and marked by a distinctive bark-like cough that won't go away. You're talking about the croup, and it's most dangerous for babies and toddlers because it can cut off their air supply. Joining us now with more, Dr. Heather Edgley, ER physician at Children's Hospital. And uh, I can verify that she knows plenty about this. You treated my middle one about six years ago, I think. He and came in, and it's scary for a parent when you hear that that bark, that oh, seal, oh. yeah. That's exactly how I'm thinking, it is. what in the world's going on? Yeah. So let's talk about the symptoms of the croup. Well, um, symptoms, so croup is usually a barky cough. It sounds like either a puppy dog barking or a barking seal. Um, the child usually has some difficulty breathing, not just if it's just the cough, it's not so much of a worrisome thing, but if they have difficulty breathing and when they're inhaling have sort of a whistling sound yeah. a, uh, when they're breathing, then that makes it more serious. Those children look like they're anxious and they're having trouble breathing and that's when you'd want to seek some care. And what are some things that they need to get to the hospital once that happens, right? Well, when they're having a lot of difficulty breathing, they can't seem to catch their breath. They're very anxious. They're making you very anxious. Right. You've done all the things that you can do at home, which I can talk about also. Yeah. Um, then it would be time to go to the emergency room. Okay. So if, if it's not at that point yet, you're at home, what are some things you can do to kind of ease that? Cool, moist air. So if it's one of our nice Knoxville, uh, moist, cool nights and you want to go outside, just let them, you know, wrap up in the deck, on the deck in a blanket and let them just breathe that cool, moist air. And that's going to help a lot. Keep them calm. Let them have whatever they want. I hate to say that, but you know, don't make them upset. You don't want to stimulate them because as they cry and they vocalize, that's going to make this croup symptom worse because croup is actually caused by a virus. It centers in around the vocal cords, the larynx and the trachea, and um, causes swelling in that area. And little children, in infants and toddlers especially, their airway is already small. And then you make it a little bit swollen, yeah. and then they're having much more difficulty breathing. So the airway gets very, very small. Um, and if they vocalize and they cry, it's only going to get worse. So when you're at home, you want to keep them calm, cool, collected. You stay not anxious. Go yeah. outside, maybe open up the freezer door. If it's a, if it's a summer evening, maybe do yeah, that, right? Yeah, open up the freezer door. Um, that's pretty much it for what you can do at home. All right, and, and as far as treatment goes from the doctor, what should they expect? Either at your pediatrician's office or in the emergency room, the first thing we're going to think of is giving a dose of steroids because the steroids help to shrink that tissue. Um, they help to decrease the inflammation and the swelling in the throat. So we're also going to give a breathing treatment if we think it's indicated. Not everybody needs to have a special breathing treatment, and this is not the same one that you use for asthma, so it's not going to help if you use your asthma breathing treatment at home. Um, it's a medicine called racemic epinephrine, and it's aerosolized epinephrine. It helps to shrink those tissues so that the airway opens up larger, and that's a really important breathing treatment that's specific for croup. Yeah, great information.